We have this lady with big fakies that will drain you, from, drain the <laughs> life out of you. Well, yeah, literally, that was playing inside. Isn't it crazy? Like, they were talking about how, like, Italians are super horny and how they'll literally just, like, walk up to women and just snap at them. And I think like, that's hey, racist. Hey, 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 hey. No, it's actually a thing that, like... I, uh... Did you guys see How's the that thing racist? on... It was, um... It's also Italians. Like, Stav and Mark Norman. They are like, Italians are the last people that you can be racist. It's fair. Yeah. <laughs> they're part of the Axis. Like, go for it. True. They were on the Axis. I mean... Not by choice. I yeah, mean, Mussolini sort of just forced the entire country to be part of that whole thing. It was actually a history pod. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm working on it. True. Uh, um, Max, you have a song? Oh, yeah. I thought that was the beginning thing I did. Well, Mike was still sitting down, so we probably won't include that. Oh, okay. That sucks. Um, I don't know. I can't just jump into it. All right. Well, just it's hit hard. It, I hit need momentum. Point. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Welcome back. Greatest podcast in the world. We are back. Uh, whatever, never mind. This is our 18th episode. We're getting close to uh, 20. I think this is usually yeah. the time when white guys give up, so we just got to push through. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think uh, once we hit episode 50, there might actually be somebody listening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, at least a couple dozen. No, I will say... Um, our numbers are looking okay. Yeah, I was about to say the last episode, I want to thank everybody. It's probably our best like episode to date in terms of not only the episode itself, but numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I oh, think it's just consistency. Mm-hmm. It is heavy seas, yeah. Nice. I think That's it got like bad. 200 views in the first week. That's not horrible. And I only ran 150 bots, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, so there's definitely at least a dozen people. How do you bot like an account? Like, can you do that successfully without getting caught? I don't know, like, the ins and outs um, of that. Do you have any? You could, oh, dude, you can yeah. view bot YouTube easy. Yeah. yeah. You just have somebody, like, hit refresh. Can we just do page? that on one of our videos? It okay. doesn't matter what it is. One. Can yeah. we just view bot one of our videos? YouTube, it's the first 10 minutes. You're like, listening. Like, Kyle, your computer's been on for 45 hours straight, I mean, but we I'm have like, 5,000 views. I'm going yeah, to keep it a buck. It's been coming out recently that um a lot of like streamers and stuff like that like you'll see like a streamer with like 20k like 7k of those are bots yeah that's we'll wild the numbers a little that's cool i mean well, let's try botting an episode we yeah. should we should pick a specific thing to bot but like that's something the, well, that's like disposable. let's do the chat gpt episode just everything's fully oh botted. dude yeah so there's for the chat gpt episode we literally bought the episode the script too. is <laughs> botted dude, the that's views are so botted good. no i love that let's do it i'm into it i'm, yeah, I'm totally down with that they can write the script for us too true like, they can write a whole script for the episode. Yeah, we're trying to hook up like a chat GPT thing that like watches all of our YouTube videos and then just writes an episode for us. Yeah, we've just been watching, listening to a lot of dudesy. A lot of dudesy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, gonna, it's, it's just going to be like a Yeah, I've been looking at a lot boobies. of boobies. Yeah, well, that too. We'll get, we'll get to that. Um, I think if it were to watch our pod and like yeah. give us like a generated thing by that, it would just be a lot of like talking about boobs, talking about shitting. Aww jacking off which we do but just i think boys being dudes just guys i feel like dudes. we need to ask jimmy if he can run an episode through a through a thing yeah we definitely should just i don't take know like how that five works. episodes yeah five three man oh he just codes something and i don't know lies. if he knows how to do ai but yeah. he probably could figure, he probably it, could out. figure it out yeah. he literally would watch a youtube video and be like got it and then oh just, wait like, get you know what you could do just go to chat G- wait this would make it even cooler yeah we have jimmy go to chat gpt type in write <laughs> command pr- or code for an ai bot yeah. to watch youtube videos chat gpt writes the code then we put the our video into it and then we write, we have Chat GPT write the episode. the episode, and then we view bot it. Yeah, I'm totally, I'm into that. I think we should just film every Jimmy aspect of it just completely. <laughs> Jimmy has to wear like a duster and no, like wait. glasses. I would be and so upset. Like, and we buy that's cardboard that cutouts of ourselves, and we just have the Chat GPT in like an AI voices. <laughs> ours. I'm trying to put a fat head of Kyle <laughs> on my wall, and just none of it is real, dude. Which one? Which head? <laughs> They're both True. pretty fat. They're both pretty famous. Yeah. Yeah. Fair Boobies. enough. Boobies. No, the opposite. <laughs> Goop. Balls. 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 <laughs> balls. This is a little all balls episode. Yeah, this has been brought up on the pod. I got big I'm yeah. yeah. I feel like, I feel like there's like certain, like, y- you either get one or the other. Yeah. I feel like it's like yeah. one or the other. You don't get both. When I'm like shriveled up in the pool, my yeah. my dick is like resting on my balls. 
That's cute. Yeah, a little curled up. You know, like when a cat puts its uh, paw on its tail? I'm living in a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> uh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm like my sword, my protector, while my balls are like tiny. Yeah. <laughs> and I got news for you. That means you're gay. That's from doing all them steroids. It's true. It is, honestly. I was yacked up on steroids in high school, I'm going to be honest with <laughs> really? you. Know, they, well, it was one of those situations where they were just injecting things and I wasn't asking questions. Right. You were doing ass injectables? Like, no yeah. comment. <laughs> like my, you're like, my coach was also like injecting something into me. You <laughs> my know what I mean? like, no weed. Sorry. I don't, that was, I don't like it. That was a that was an innuendo that your uh, coach was fucking you. Yeah, I know. I knew, yeah. You know what's crazy is, okay, so like my high school coach, I'm cool with call, uh, talking shit about him because I don't care. Um, <clears throat> he, so he basically like bullied me into the ground. He made my like high school experience bad so I can like shit on him now because he's Hell a yeah. loser. Uh, he, uh, I tore my shoulder and he looked at me and he's like, my shoulder's been torn for like five years. I was like, you should go get that checked out, dude. I don't know what to fucking tell you. He literally hit you with the stop being a pussy. Well, he's a middle school gym teacher. So like anything he said is moot, but it's sure. really funny. Like, because he would like, people told me, they're like, yeah, when I was in middle school, he used to like hit on me. And then years <laughs> later when I left the school, he started dating like this, like person that used to be a student there. And she was like 20 years old and he's like 38. That's awesome. Yeah. They got, <laughs> they got married though. It's a little weird. Um, I'm going to say this without doxing too much. There was a teacher that went to uh, Beck and Grace's school that from day one that I met this guy because we went to some like school thing of theirs. I was like, that guy's a creep. And they were like, no, he isn't. And me and Mike He's were both like, yeah, I know who you're talking about. this guy is weird. And then it came out that, uh, yeah, he was DMing uh, students. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. You know, I just call him as I see him. You call him as you see him. I, um. Bad asses. Yeah, I call those. Dude, the tweet earlier that said uh, God was shooting from half court when he made Bailey. I've just been thinking about that one all day. Yeah. We were watching SummerSlam before we started doing this. And oh, man. We watched, are we about to get into this? Yeah, we can get into it <laughs> right away. We watched uh, two pretty cool matches. Yeah. And then probably the worst match I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it was possibly the worst match I've ever seen. So we've established like fake like fighting matches are always pretty damn bad. Unless pretty bad. Like, hard, unless, uh, unless the only good strong. ones are like um, hard style, like Japanese shit. Yeah, I mean anything in Japan, Pancreas. but in WWE, it's like the only good one was like Ken Shamrock and Owen Hart at yeah. SummerSlam, I think '98 in the Lions Den match. I feel like Daniel Bryan could have had like a really good one at some point. He's had some like pure matches. Wait, who's really the Pancreas guy? Is that Ken Shamrock? Ken Shamrock, Boss Ken Rudin. Shamrock, Boss, Boss Rudin, Rudin, Boss Rudin, that's who I'm thinking of. Yeah, um, there's that French guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, Suzuki was in yeah, Suzuki Pancreas was from there. there. Him and Ken Shamrock, there's them fighting on YouTube. It's pretty funny. I know, yeah, it's crazy. But no, young um, Suzuki with like a full head of hair. Yeah, it was Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey. No real surprise that it was dog shit. Yeah. But like, um, it, it was like ex- exponentially like bad. Like it was like. Not even the strikes. There was nothing. None yeah. of it made any sense. The stipulation was, was crazy. Those. It was MMA. That's yeah, it was right. MMA <laughs> rules match. But then I heard there was another stipulation that was like, loser has to admit the world is round. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it was so funny because like a week ago, I saw a TikTok of how like Marshawn Lynch, who's like one of my favorite people in all of sports. I don't, do you know? Him. Yeah. Okay, love cool. Him. Awesome. I love Apple him bees. when he yeah. just goes to Dave and Buster's and Applebee's. Yeah. And he's like, this is what I spent my signing bonus on. <laughs> He's the best. Him and Ronda Rousey just like wrestle on this show about celebrities going to Mars. Do you know there, there's a show where, so there's this They're thing, running out of ideas. In, in Europe and Australia, there's a show called like Help, I'm a Celebrity. And it's basically <laughs> what you are. You, they put celebrities in like survivor scenarios and they have to like work together. Like David Hasselhoff was on it at one point or something. And they tried to do it, but like on a fake Mars. So they're like <laughs> on a fake like. It sounds like a Mr. Beast video. I've never watched the show. I just like watch clips from it and I just assume what it's about basically. But yeah, that's, that's the rundown. I watched a uh, full movie on TikTok the other night. That was crazy. I do that all the time. What movie? With ads or without ads? Um, without ads. It was the movie um, where Brendan Fraser is like in um, in an underground bunker and his dad. Oh, is when he says Christopher that Walker. Word? He does say that. Flashback? <laughs> no, it's, what is it called? I forget. Um, I can't remember. That movie's so Bombs <laughs> Away or some shit. No, I can't it's remember. Not that. I can't remember. Uh, Dude, the other day. That movie's like okay. People have said it's, it's fine. good. It's yeah, like, it's eh. fine. It's Brandon Fraser, so it's like awesome. The but. idea is cool, and the but the execution is just kind of drag. Yeah, you're like, yo, Christopher Walken's his dad. I'm like, I'm in. Yeah, like, but yeah. The other day, I got home from work and was like so tired. Or I got home from the gym and I was like sweaty, tired, and hungry. And uh, love him. He's he's that's gonna a, hear this. That's the holy trinity. Yeah, and my brother 
while I had two heavy things in my hand, needed to tell me the entire plot to the movie Twister. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. uh-huh. Isn't Helen uh-huh. Hunt in that or something? Yes, I think yeah. so. And I was just like, all right, well, that's cool. Um, that movie rocks. That's a good I'm movie. I'm going to go eat. Yeah he, yeah, he said it was a good movie. I don't think I've ever seen it. You've never seen Twister? Maybe I have. Are you into, like, disaster movies at all? No. Dude, disaster movies kind of, I hate them. Like, genuinely, like, I saw a day after tomorrow, and after that, I was like, no. And this is funny because... 28 Days Later counts as a disaster movie? Kind of. But um, my coworker loves disaster movies, and I told him that I've never seen, like, San Andreas. And he literally looked at me and was like, you've never seen San Andreas with The Rock? And I was like, no, dude, what the fuck? Who the fuck watched that movie? You know what type of movies I'm really into? What? Shark movies. Shark movies? Dude. I don't know about shark movies. Dude, the yeah. Meg the Meg's amazing. I saw that the in theaters. Awesome. I saw it in theaters. Uh, I can't wait to see the Meg too. I um I want this podcast I to get see big enough for too. us to get uncredited extra roles in a Sharknado movie. I don't think we're that far off. No, nah, we need to we, we need, need we, we need, need to be the people that like the podcast gets big enough to where we can fund Birdemic too. <laughs> Dude, I would love. I think there is a second one. Oh, there is a second fuck. one. So a third one. Yeah, but um, I would be cool if we just kept like putting our names in as extras on things, and we would Dude. just film each other being extras in things, and we it would should just do that. be a whole thing where we're just filming each other being we extras. Just stack our IMD. I would yeah. say we should uh try and remember when House of Cards would film like in our hometown. Yeah. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Since people decided to start jerking off and stuff like this that. This isn't a hairless boy podcast, so they wouldn't be yeah. into it anyway. Hey, man, I think he was found not guilty, so maybe they'll start it back up. <laughs> no, oh, my time. God. No. Nah. <laughs> he um, lives in Baltimore. I mean, he's not that far. He's probably 10 miles away. Dude, he probably lives in Rowan Park. He lives in Mount Vernon. That's like two miles away. Okay, so two miles away. Come on, Max. Docs. Bro, docs yourself. Docs. docs. Swatted. Yeah. That's you're you're looking at my backyard. If you can figure it out from here, you probably deserve to kill me. <laughs> it's fair enough. If you can put this detective between this and my Instagram, you can probably figure it out. Yeah. Do you, um if you got if your lives ever went like real bad, would you do like a ninety day fiance thing? Like, would you like yeah, say I'm like a bad it right bad. now? <laughs> <laughs> Just a Russian child bride. <laughs> Kyle's a Russian child bride. Now, when you say child, we're talking like 18 plus, right? Yeah, but okay. like it's just like a figure of speech uh, okay. in this situation. It's not always a figure of speech. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Some people are like, no, I don't want it to be a figure of speech. I am not one of them. No, I'm just saying like the most blank face woman you've ever seen in your life with like no facial features and stark blonde hair that just like has a big ass and you have to pay her like $1,000 a month, but then she'll like be in a throuple marriage with you. That I think is what I'm looking for. TV-ish. Okay, cool. Yeah, fair enough. No, would kidding. you Would um, you be on 90 Day Fiance though? Uh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like um, I feel like I would probably get roasted. <laughs> I think everybody gets roasted on there. I think that's the point. Yeah. It's a platform to get. No, nah, I want to be like I want people to I want to be like made fun of, and people be like, but he seems all right. Yeah, you know. I just I watch so much 90 Day Fiance. The absurdity of it makes me laugh all the time. Like I literally think about it sometimes when I'm just sitting there by myself and start laughing. Wait, because, like life could be worse. Are they still following the guy who? Ed. No, not no. Ed. Uh, the no, dude Ed, who had Ed was on four different 90 Day Fiance shows. He was even on one called like Last Chance <laughs> and didn't find love. The dude who <laughs> was on because um, he's a weirdo. Fuck, he like married that girl, and then like she found out that he sent nudes of her to his like friend yes. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So they're, still they're on the following? newest season. Is that the so. nerdy guy? No, so uh-huh. it's Gino. It's the guy that won't take his hat off. It's oh, G- Gino and Yasmin. So, yeah. um, I Yasmin's ex- tits are probably as hard as these cans. It's for insane. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so let me explain Boobies. the new season to you because we'll watch it eventually, but you'll forget by then. Sure. So then the new season, he goes to Panama, right? So he's in Panama for the first time, and he's with her in her new apartment that he bought her. It's a super expensive luxury apartment because she's moving out of it soon. Yeah. But she like was like, dude, you have to get me this luxury apartment. So he's like, okay. Turns out the twist is the luxury apartment is in her ex's building, and she did it on purpose. Ooh. Her ex, Yikes, her dude. ex is a sexy blonde, like Australian guy. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Gino is a man that is so unfortunate, so scared of being yeah. bald that he has to wear a hat. So he's he, like the hat stays on. He has a sex. sleeping hat. He has a sex hat. 
He has a party hat. He has hats. That he, <laughs> a party dude, hat. Can you wait for Mike to get to that point? You know the window and hats, right? They have a window here? Yeah. Okay. At one point, seasons ago, he had just hair in that portion of his hat. He got his hair cut to just have hair there, so it peered through his hat oh, that he had dude. hair underneath of the hat, oh but he pulled the God. hat off. It was like a merkin. It was like a little tiny patch in the window. I don't get why hat. people are afraid. Like, you, you rock it loud and proud. Dude, yeah. okay, so there's a scene in this season where they're fighting constantly, though. They're fighting over everything. Like, she just wants to fuck a bunch, and he's like, I don't want to have sex because you make me feel bad. And it's, like, really <laughs> funny because it's like, dude, you have this lady, you have this lady with big fakies that will drain you, drain the life out of you. And instead, God, some guys have all the luck. Instead, there's a scene where he like wants to get away from her, but they're in an apartment together, and he's like yelling at him. So he he's like, "I'm just gonna go to bed," and he like walks into bed and lays down, but face down, and he's wearing a fedora. So the fedora just bends <laughs> on top of his face. So you just get this visual of him just like face down in a pillow, and she's like. Hello, are you asleep? And she's like poking him over and over again. And he's obviously not asleep, and but he won't move. She a finger in his butt. Dude, I wish. She wants to. She makes jokes about it all the time. Apparently, he has a hog. That's like the whole joke. Yeah, of the I whole do thing. remember of that. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So, like, it's, it's really like funny. It's the, like the, the Lisa Ann, like, sidebar video where he, like, puts the thumb <laughs> and she's like, oh. <laughs> those porn, I've been seeing a couple of those, like, porn ad things on the side. And I'm like, what is going on here? Dude, I saw one where. They're at like a, this might be the wildest one I've ever seen. They're like at a doctor's office, right? And Great the guy's like fucking the girl and she puts like the sonogram thing on herself. And then it goes, it zooms in <laughs> and does an animation of like a, an animated penis like coming inside of a vagina. <laughs> That's it's so real. Funny, Look it up. Dude. Like so it, it looks like it's like through Look a sonogram it up, thing. Look That was a long sentence. Well, <laughs> I think Look you, you can, Look it it's up. pretty specific. You're like That's typing a whole sweet. paragraph. And I remember I was like browsing and I hadn't started cranking and I just watched that like for three loops. And I was like, ah, maybe later. Yeah. Like I, that just killed the vibe. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Ruby, what a time to be alive. I know. Yeah. No, truly. Um, but yeah, 90 Day Fiance, I've been going back to like old seasons. And um, it's really funny. I want to find a season where one of these like weird pasty white guys can handle like a Latino woman at all in any way, shape, or form, but it never <laughs> happens. It's so funny. Put me in, coach. Dude, this one guy, so the season I'm watching right now, there's this like real pasty like finance guy. And he, uh, he, he would only has a, uh, a girlfriend or wife, I guess. She's like 19 or 20 from Mexico. He met her partying in Mexico. Oh, yeah, that's always what happened. And, uh, he moved back to America and she's like, Hey, can you buy me boobs? And he did immediately, but she will not like not show them to him. And the whole time he's literally just like, show me your boobs. Like <laughs> during the show, literally the storyline is like dude in his thirties just got a divorce. Takes a boy's trip to Mexico or like Thailand, literally. meet someone at a club. Falls in love. They spend the rest of the vacation together. Flies back in a month. That's literally, literally all. Dude, of them. we know it's yeah. you know what's really funny is there's a disproportionate amount of people from Maryland and or the lower PA area in 90 Day Maybe Fiance. I've yeah. counted about six of them. Yeah. <laughs> there's there, the one guy from Annapolis. There's a guy from the Annapolis. Line. There's yeah. a guy from Laurel. There's a guy a girl oh, yeah. from Mechanicsburg. There's a guy from Baltimore, and then there's a guy from Annapolis. Dude, the girl, wait, who does the girl from Mechanicsburg marry? Uh, so the Jamaican guy who's like fu obviously fucking uh, like 15 different people. Oh, is it the is rapper? It oh, no, no, he's not uh, a rapper. It's the blonde girl, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I thought yeah, you were yeah. talking about Soldier Boy. No, yeah. no, no, no. no. <laughs> the, le the legend. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the absolute legend. Dude, Soldier Boy, I forgot about that one. That one's so good. We wa we used to get on Discord and watch 90 Day Fiance would, a yeah. lot. That was the best. Or like Too Hot, Too to, hot handle. to Handle. Yeah. What a classic show. I watched Milf Manor was the most recent one I watched. Dude, Milf Manor's so good. That was, a, that was a big suggestion for me. I was begging you guys to watch yeah, it for It was weeks. great. So I like I hunted it, it down. Dude, oh my God. Disco, on, like, Disco. I think it's on Hulu. You can find it anywhere, but it's Disco Mommy. Dude, like disco mommy, no, uh, the one, I yeah, I would too. But the one that I was <laughs> like, this lady is, um, the one that like the like, like light skin guy is into, but then she's with, um, fuck, what's her name? It's like Paula, Paula, yeah, she's her, so her son's, her son's kind of hot. That, yeah, whole the son, hot. that whole, and then yeah, the daughter too. Yeah. I was like, dude, the genetics here, it's crazy, Italians, yeah. dude. Some yeah, spicy she was, there. I need to watch like, this I show. I'm in love. Yeah. Dude, Milf Manor is the best. It's so uncomfortable. The first thing they do is there's the first challenge is literally they line up all the boys, 
and all oh, all yeah. the moms have to come up and they're blindfolded and they have to feel everybody's bodies and figure out who their son is. <laughs> so they have to identify <laughs> Mike. They, they like have to identify their son. Yes, they have to identify <laughs> their own son's body. They're like, I think this is my son's V. Dude, it's so insane. Literally. It's so good. So I figured out that it's like you need to nuzzle his balls. Yeah, and then you're also like watching your son so trying nice. to get with a fi- like a 50 year old woman <laughs> yeah. and like riz them up, riz them out. <laughs> that's it's so awesome. sick. All right, People yeah, that love like, like stepmom porn, that's the show for you. No, that's what it is. Yeah. That's bred out of that. Yeah, it was really fun. I- <laughs> and that's why I loved it. No, isn't I'm, like Young I'm, Gravy on that show? Uh, I don't no, think so. No, no yeah. but that's it's like young gravy core. But yeah, no, it's a lot of that kind of stuff. It's yeah. sort of uh, harping on that. Good for that dude too, Lisa Ann. Proud, proud veteran. Yeah, yeah. proud veteran. Yeah. He did get Lisa Ann. Proud of him. I chill with Lisa Ann. Like I'm just saying, like I feel like she'd be fun just to hang out with. I feel like like old like mid 2000s porn stars. It's like Christy Mack, Lisa Ann. There's a few in there that you gotta like put in there. Jaden James, Rachel Starr. Yeah. Um, we've talked. We've gone down this list before. Yeah. We've, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, I think Young Gravy also uh, hit, uh, hit Brandy Love. Hit. <laughs> I'm not a Brandy Love guy. I'm not either. Uh, no. yeah. she not gives really. me, Wasn't she uh, racist? Yeah, she yeah, gives me conservative Truman. like gum Mom nut vibes. vibes. Yeah. yeah, it's like the Teal Tequila thing. It's like would, oh, but yeah. wouldn't. You know. She's yeah. she's she's crazy. She's like a lum, she's like I the Illuminati the owl. Tila like, Tila. No, yeah, she's the next yeah. level. She's uh, like yeah. a big Trump Trump. Oh badass. wait, you know um, who is like a huge like redneck uh, like gun nut person, and she's married to fucking Jesse James. Yeah. Bonnie Rotten. Really? Yo, yeah. Jesse. She's married to Jesse James. Yeah, she's, she's, she's talking married about to a w- fucking nobody. Yeah, she's Dude. married to West Coast Choppers Jesse oh James. So what did Jesse James do? I've never had this explanation to him. Was um, he just like a celebrity? Like he was what, like what a celebrity deal? motorcycle builder. Like gotcha. during that era, what a where like with like what a fucking early two thousand. Yeah, thing. with like Orange County <laughs> yeah. Choppers and That's shit insane. like that. Like he was the West Coast version of that. I own the West Coast Customs PS2 game. I still Yo. have. Yo. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Dude, that that show was crazy. Those dudes were definitely super racist, but also just yelled at each other. Like, they just hawked on yeah. each other. West Coast oh, Customs yeah. guys. There was, like, this thing going. Mad my, Mike. My, Mad um, Mike. Uh, we're talking about American Chopper, those guys, right? West yeah, Coast Customs. Yeah. yeah. There was this thing where, like, my pap was grew out, like, a handlebar mustache as a joke. And then my Uncle Kevin was going to be, like, the redheaded son. Oh, and that's then, Orange County job. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know yeah. the difference. Honestly. And then uh, my uncle Jeff was going to be like the one son, and they were like thinking about filming like a YouTube. Wait, who was going to be Mikey? Which one's the long haired one? The one my that they like Kevin, throw shit the red head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, him. My pap was going to grow out the uh, the Fu Manchu. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they never did. That's the, sick. the dad, and that always reminded me of like Ron Perlman a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Uh, little yeah. Ron Perlman. That guy definitely, when the cameras were rolling, said super racist. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. But boy, could they build a weird yeah, boy? Bike. Could they <laughs> remember when those <laughs> bikes they were build cool? some motorcycles? Dude, boy, you know could they ride? They make an unridable motorcycle. Dude, no, hundred percent. Those things are worth nothing now. Like if you go back and look, yeah. it's like Pimp My Ride. They're literally worth nothing. Yeah, Pimp My Ride. They would like. All right, well, we took out all your airbags, <laughs> yeah. but uh, we got a TV and a fish tank back here. That's pretty sick. I mean, if you're going to die, you might as well have a view. Yeah. Like, if you're going to roll that shit. Well, like, if you're going to roll in, like, a mo- like a Ford Monarch for the next 30 you years. You know what I always thought? The ones they do, you, like, SUVs that have, like, a PS2 in the back. And, like, I was like, dude, I would just live in that. Yeah, honestly. Like, yeah. fuck my house. Like, put, the, living, put the yeah. seats down. Just put, put the, the seats there. down. Just fucking chill. Like, <laughs> pretty cool, honestly. You like bring a shorty back to the crib, but you're like, it's actually in this Walmart parking lot. I feel lot. like nowadays, I feel like girls would respect you living in your car. Isn't that weird? There's definitely they a like type truly. of girls yeah. that like are into guys. And they're that not. Live I in don't the think car. there's. I don't think they're particularly smelly like they would have been. I think it's just sort of normal people now. Yeah. Yeah, but we're not talking like. But then there's another subset of girls that are into guys that like converted a van. Yeah, that's like you know? the that's like the real that's the real like Keds like flip flop yeah. types. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, a little crunch. And they make like abstract art. And y- yeah, but it's dog. like it's like yeah. shitty though. It's really just like them putting a bunch of colors on a palette, and they're like, "Look at it." Yeah. And, like, and it's uh, like he seems know. cool at first, but he'll definitely like gaslight the shit out of you after you get in that van with him. 
Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I was about to I was about to fucking name people in my head. Just yeah, like, dude, no, uh, don't do that. The guy that killed Gabby Petito. <laughs> literally though, yeah. Oh, like literally. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Jesus. I was like, yeah, this guy fits the bill. Yeah. Didn't they find him like two miles away from his parents' house or yeah, something? Like, like eaten that? by an alligator or some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, real like a cosmic retribution there. I'd um, like to think that there's a conspiracy going on that those were fake dental records and bones and that he uh, escaped to Mexico. Actually, no, I, I want him to be brutally mauled by an alligator. I yeah. like that scenario, actually. I don't really have a dog in the race either <laughs> way. I just thought the TikToks where they were like, where is this person was kind of like vaguely interesting. Yeah, you know, the people yeah. that were like, the parents are hiding him under a garden bed in their backyard. I think it's infinitely interesting that everybody has a device in their hand that they can record every moment with. So, like we can record somebody slowly just like walking themselves into being murdered. It's kind of insane. It is sad. Like, I watched this documentary really on strange. it that you can, like, see basically her archiving their relationship falling apart. Literally. And then there's a body cam video of them, like, getting in a fight, like, right before Dude, she Dude, I found it's this insane. guy on TikTok. I don't think I liked any of the videos. I'll have to find him and send it to you. But it's, like, I'm almost certain it's a serial killer. Yeah. With people in his basement. Nice. I think I know who you're it's talking like about. It's like super, it's like almost like VHS quality and it's like face cam. I think that might and be he's the like, point. Uh, yeah. He's like so super, he has an Android. He's like, yeah. <laughs> he's like super fucked up looking and like just like dirty and shit. And he's just like, yeah, I'm definitely sober. <laughs> and he starts like laughing in the video and he's in like a basement with like dirt floors. Oh, uh, yeah. I have seen have you seen guy. that guy? Seen yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. That dude's definitely a serial There's killer. one where people were like, were like, I think I hear like screaming in the background. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit's wild. We should do that. We should convince people that we're Have serial people killers. screaming in your basement? Oh, convince people we're serial killers. Just start like that a, wouldn't be that a hard, dude. TikTok we look account. like a group of people that dude, would be on like a one film it in the garage. Yeah, literally. You guys remember the Poughkeepsie tapes? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. supposed to move this, right? No, you're yeah. good. That's fine. Cool. Uh, the, the dude crawling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Crawling backwards with the face. Yeah. That should creep me out. I never was really into found footage. I don't really like... I like, like, Marble Hornets, like that, like, OG found footage. You know something funny? I watched dude, Marble Hornets got a little little crazy. Yeah, at jumped the, the shark yeah. a little bit, yeah. Fucking, um, I watched Cloverfield Lane not that long ago. Yeah, really. And uh, I forgot that T.J. Miller is the main character in that movie. Isn't that weird? Isn't... He's literally the guy holding the camera the whole time. Isn't John Goodman in that movie? I don't think so, no. What's the... I thought Cloverfield Lane was the bunker movie. Oh, no, no, no. It's the, um... I'm talking about the fucking, uh, the found footage one. Where oh, there's the like first oh one? Clover... Just yeah, Cloverfield. Yeah. Cloverfield, yeah. Cloverfield yeah. Dude, I watched that movie when it first came out, and it made me sick. Really? Because just the camera, oh, like camera shake, shake and stuff. Yeah, Dude, sense. Blair Witch Project is an incredible like movie. Yo, yeah. Paranormal Activity 1 was fun. Yeah. What was the one where at the very end someone was like possessed and the, the whole family gets murdered? What the fucking oh, one yeah. was that? Three or something? Wait, what's the one? I think that's one, two or three. What's yeah. the one where they're in the farmhouse and there's like the nuns and stuff like that? Or like the that's Amish the people? Marked that's the marked ones. The marked ones? I thought that was that's the same the f- one. No, well, maybe it is. I've seen one, two, and then I randomly watched the marked ones. Okay, that might be the marked ones because I think th- I don't know. Kind Dude, of the Marks first two so were shit. fine. The first, we first have, one we have to watch every Fast and Furious. Maybe me and Mike can do it, and you, we can just tell you about what happened. I've only Fast seen Fast One, Two, Five. You've never seen Tokyo Drift? I don't think so. Not Dude, like we actually. Should, we have to do this. We Dude, have to. Dude, Tokyo up. Drift is straight up an awesome. Movie. We don't have to do it. Are we watch. watching this like Hobbs and Shaw too? Or no, yes. no, we're not watching okay, fine, we side movies. I will. I'll expand the universe. <laughs> Dude, but I just, I just. Ever since we lost Paul, I just Dude, don't think stop. we can. <sighs> Dude, no. We should, so we should start the episode with that meme you used to send all the time about Which Paul Walker. Oh, there's a spider. The, what's the, the meme that I had about Paul Walker? The one with the body that's like completely torched <laughs> in the front seat of a, car, <laughs> of a fast car. Yeah, this says, hi, welcome to Disney Channel. I'm Paul Walker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, it's shit. Paul Wall. Yo, it's my man Paul Wall. Mouth brighter than a disco ball. Um, no, we should do it though. One hundred percent should do it. Yeah, Stop! You it. Why did you slap <laughs> it at me? You bitch? <laughs> no, Dude, you're gonna come Peter Parker head ass. Dude, that's great. It's just like pss, put it out of my. Car. Yo, do you guys? <laughs> like, I do. Do you guys remember the movie that like Drake Bell becomes a superhero and yes. Kevin Hart's? <laughs> Yeah. Wait, he, what? Superhero movie? Superhero movie. Yeah, it's bad. It's shit. It's and they really like do movie. the spoof the scene where like Peter Parker or like Spider Man's on the roof 
or on the ceiling and he drips the blood onto um, William Defoe or whatever like yeah. that. But they do the opposite where like uh, Drake Bell like pisses his pants. Yeah. Dude. Such a great movie. Is that the movie also where they do the... Is that the movie or is that a porn where they do the That's the a porn. That's where he, he like it's him and Mary Jane they're about to kiss the upside and, down kiss. and he's like slowly goes Yeah, they down. do the upside down kiss and then he just drops further. Yeah. And just <laughs> Love that video. That's sick. That's so funny, dude. That's the best spoof of all time. I don't know. I, th- I like the Pirates of the Caribbean one. I was about to say the Pirates of the Caribbean one is pretty, pretty good. With yeah. Evan Stone. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen the Pokemon one where they're like I fully have, yeah, full of makeup? Dude, that's so bad. The worst one is the SpongeBob one. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Dude, I saw this one that was a Family Guy one, and I clicked on it because like, oh, I wasn't going to watch yeah. it, but I was interested, and it's like that redheaded like MILF, I can't yeah. remember what her name uh, is, and she's getting like clapped by Brian and Chris. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's just a guy like dressed in all white, like paint with like a collar on. <laughs> uh, I want I want them to do a uh, real Family Guy spoof, but it's the real Peter Griffin. The real yes, and the and the, and real, the real Lois. Lois. Yeah, that's funny as that fuck. That would be awesome. We should get a cameo from the real Peter Griffin. We should. Yeah, I wonder how much it is. Honestly. Yeah. What do you guys think of the cameo? I'm gonna try to get time? him to say slurs. Oh. What? What'd you guys think of the cameo? That was awesome. Time? We gotta invest in more cameos. The fact that that didn't hit the TikTok algorithm with yeah. him being as famous as he is. Yeah, that's weird. I maybe it'll add Subway Surfer too. Maybe it'll hit it later. I don't know. Who knows? Dude, you know what we honestly should invest the money in is the guy that does the Halo announcer voice and just have him say crazy things and we should put it on the soundboard. Yeah, I'm down. Be like, milk me. <laughs> <laughs> Double cum. <laughs> yeah, he probably would. He was like, fuck it. I think it's like $80, but it's a, it's a good be, investment. I would be so happy. That'd be so fucking funny. I would use that for What's forever. something that we could ask him to say, like, realistically, that's, like, related to this podcast? Uh, I, don't I don't know. We don't have any bits, I guess. No, I can't think of it. Yeah. You put me on the spot. I know. I'll, think, I'll, think, I'll text in the group chat later. Dude, that's so funny, though. I, You're gay. <laughs> we'll start. We'll start. <laughs> we'll, start uh, we'll start sending a bunch in there. I'm yeah. trying to think. We can't do Pee Wee Herman anymore. Jesus Christ. Shoe nice. We could do shoe nice. We could do shoe nice. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Just say hi to Vern us and then Troyer. slam a bottle of Everclear. Yeah, he's Troyer's dead. dead. Is he? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I'm just naming dead people so far. Gilbert Godfrey, but he's dead. But he had one that was pretty affordable, I think. Yeah, he did. That sucks. I watched a uh, cold one. Ron and White. they did another cameo uh, purchase. Yeah, who they get? They tried to get Walt Jr., but he like denied theirs <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Dude, we should get Ron White and get him to say tater salad and call Mike gay. Yeah, hey, I Mike, would love that. That would uh, be awesome. Yeah. You're a little tight in the loafers, my friend. Yeah, a little loose in the loafers. <laughs> loose in the loafers, yeah. That's a really funny saying, loose in the loafers. Yeah. Does this mean you have smaller feet? Like, what does that mean? I guess a smaller cock. I don't know. I don't, that doesn't make any sense, though. Traditionally gay. Never mind. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I've been going down weird rabbit holes lately, and I got really into the fact that a lot of Samoans are Mormon. <laughs> Wait, Do you know what? That? I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. So the I thought they were just Christian. No, so the second largest contingency of Mormons in the entire world outside of Utah is literally Samoa. And uh, it's weird because, like, in football, all the uh, all the Samoans go to, like, Utah. I've never understood why. Or, like, are, they, like, are they, like, real deal Mormon, like, yeah. multiple wives and shit? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, isn't that weird? So I never. The Rock is. A I don't. I don't think Mormon. that. I think the Rock's is Christian, but I think he like missed the wave. I think yeah. like. But yeah, there's a lot of Samoan Mormons, and I was thinking about like wrestlers, and I was like, I wonder which wrestlers you are. Think Mormon. Roman Reigns is like. I don't think I think those are all they're they're all related in some weird way, which is crazy. Yeah, I think are. everybody oh, in Samoa is kind of. A, I watched a, a, a wild ass video. What? It wasn't the. What? Um. <laughs> What's the one where he like interviews people that are like down bad and he like did like the people of Appalachia one? Uh, Soft White Underbelly? Yeah, it's not Soft White Underbelly. It's another guy. But he's going through <laughs> Appalachia and making like videos about like the people there. Yeah, I've seen those. And uh, he does a whole video on this guy who's not Amish, but he lives fully off the grid. Has no social, no social security number, no birth certificate. No, he does not exist. This is my thing. What's the point? 
Just a flex, I think. I think that's it. But he yeah. lives in like a trailer with no uh, electricity that he owns outright. Yeah, see, that sounds like shit. That yeah. sounds like it sucks. I feel like he I would grows, need electricity at least. He grows all of his own food. His water is through a yeah, filter, like a rock filtered <laughs> running creek next to his house. Cool. He's probably going to live to be like 105. Yeah. That's true, but he's also going to be bored as fuck. How many times do you think that guy cranks it? I don't know. I, I think I, he's probably past the point of even giving enough of a yeah, shit. Yeah, honestly, really I don't care. think he does because he's like crazy religious, but like, or maybe I mean, that makes it. Oh. I don't know how that is. See, I, I grew up like around the church, right? And like, they, non denominational churches don't really care about you cranking it. Like, they don't really talk about it or anything sure. like that. Catholic is a little bit more like, you know, whatever. But right. I've never really understood like supreme religious people that like aren't like into like. Their Cranking. own self thing. I don't really get it. Like, it, there's nothing that says anything about not doing it. Like, I think. Totally. I think their thought is like your sexual drive purely has to be for procreation. I guess so, but like that's such like a, a monkey Which is see like, monkey so do like type of thing. You know what I mean? That's it not, I'm like, you ever seen Violet Myers? <laughs> <laughs> nah, <it's> so. <laughs> uh, well, there's somebody walking around. That was a little loud. Oh. No, and me saying that. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah. Um. <laughs> Got a couple of guests here on the pod. Maybe it was like a rat or something. I don't know. It might have been. Who cares? <laughs> um. <laughs> that's what he should though. What, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Um. Um, I have an update. What's up? I knew the last episode I talked that I was getting a massage and I was a little worried that I was going to get bricked. But uh, <laughs> uh, I did yeah. not. I did not. You yeah. didn't? It was great, though. Sometimes did you go full naked? I went underwear. Okay. Yeah, that's All fair. Right. But I think next time I would go full naked. Yeah, I think it's... Do it. they, like, massage your butt cheeks? They will if you ask them to. I think they didn't because I was wearing underwear. Yeah. If you ask for glutes, they'll do it. I but I think, they, I think they would, they would like, go, like, bottom. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. Yeah. It's like yeah. a lady, like, punching your ass. <laughs> <laughs> just fisting my butt. <laughs> like no, um, literally both of my neighbors on both sides are just out. Right I know it's really funny. <laughs> That's why doing it outside is a little weird sometimes. It's funny. Uh, it is, is what it is. If only they could hear this. Oh. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it was fine. I will say, like, I was worried that, like, uh, you know, she was gonna be a little, little too bad. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it was the. I got the other side of the spectrum. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. She looked like they pulled this lady right off Hartford Road. <laughs> last time I went, and got <laughs> that's funny as fuck. Last time I last time I got a massage, I went to like a uh, spa, and um, they had like a whole locker room and the whole thing. And they're like, you can hang out for like an hour and use the steam room sauna, whatever. Fuck yeah! And I was trying to figure out all those things. I didn't realize steam rooms like if you sit in there long enough. It like if you don't get used to it, you'll just feel like you're suffocating the whole time, which is really weird. Why it's like the air is so thick? Yeah, because yeah. it's yeah. thick. It's all water. Like you're just breathing True. in condensed water, whatever. But um, I went to get a massage and I got a deep tissue massage. And yeah. like I've had deep tissue massages before, but like not like a serious serious one. And this one was a serious one. And the whole time, I definitely said yowza like five <laughs> times. Dude, <laughs> like, so, yowza. okay, so yeah, so <laughs> like, they. She was like, like hurt. I was like, <laughs> she asked. She was like, the calves when they get the because you're oh, not used yeah. to your calves being like, yeah. you're so like a Charlie weird. horse, a little bit. Yeah, it's yeah. Weird. She asked me. She was like, it's just your first massage. I was like, yeah, like yada yada yada. And um, she was like, all right, like medium, light, hard pressure. What do you want? And I was like, uh, medium, hard, like okay. a seven out of ten. She's like, describe where you're at right now. You're like <laughs> medium to hard. <laughs> <laughs> and. uh it was fine, but it was definitely, like, the top end of it. But, yeah, dude, there are certain muscles that I guess you just don't really, like, use yeah. or realize. Yeah. You know? And she would hit it. And I was, like, trying not to make noises. But then it got to a point where I was You're just like, like don't. I should have was just like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favorite thing in the world is when it's just so funny because when you, like, really don't want to let go, you're just, like, yeah, you're just, like, holding it. it. But They're then just, I was, like, fuck it, this leaves heard, like, a thousand people do this, so. And no, it's true. I think some, I think they get this, like, Quiet like satisfaction out of uh, oh. quiet satisfaction out of sorry, no, you're good. <laughs> quiet satisfaction out of like making people make weird noises, <laughs> like genuinely. Well, no, it got really silent at a point, and I realized she had headphones in yeah. and was listening to music. So I was like, Oh, I'm just gonna dude, she's listening to Pantera rip. and just like ripping her muscles like, apart. Dang. It was like weird, like dance music or something like that. Oh, really? That's boring, dude. She uh massaged my feet at a point, <laughs> which. 
Are you I thought it was going to be. So I thought that was going to be bad, but it, it wasn't like bad, but it was great. And I fell asleep for about like three minutes. That makes sense. Yeah. What were you saying? That's I'm incredible. Sorry. Uh, do you like the steam rooms? Um, I fuck with them. I like them, but I have to get used to them. Like I have to get past the initial panic of being in a room where you feel like you're like, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> See, I feel it's like that would, that's what would get me. I'm so the dry rooms are nice because you don't have to worry about it. It's like just a dry heat and you just sweat it out. Yeah. Which is I'm bad, so though. congested all the time that that shit, like, you start, like, you, like, get in there and you do, like, the... And you, I just start, like, coughing up stuff. Like, and, just, like, like yellow like, shit just yeah, coming out. Yeah, just my nose While there's is some, all like, going crazy. <laughs> some <laughs> naked eight-year-old in there <laughs> with his balls <laughs> drooping on the ground. Yeah, Mike doesn't even notice him and he just coughs and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> Um, He's like, do some of that deep breathing over here, son. Would you guys go into a sauna and just rock naked? Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Why not? All right, let's do that. Okay. All right. All right. We're all just going to, we're the only dudes just completely <laughs> naked in there. <laughs> Everyone else is just wearing, like, towels, and yeah. we're just all naked sitting next to each other. I started just pulling pictures up on my phone. I'm like, what do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's your dick. I can see it right there. <laughs> you fucking sack tap mic just raw. Just You're like, hold on. <laughs> You're like, hold on, my iPhone's overheating. <laughs> sack tap in the raw, dude. Dude, I left my AirPods in the car the other day. It was like 100 degrees, and now they're like. <laughs> 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 but they were given to me for, by Brendan for free. So, <laughs> so that is funny. I don't know why that's funny shit. I was like trying to listen to shit at the gym, and I just I had to raw dog it and listen to like AWOL Nation. Or whatever. <laughs> <It> sucks. <laughs> Over the loudspeaker. Just buy new ones. The, their Gen yeah. 3s are like 90 bucks. Yeah. It's not no, they were great. Honestly, Especially get, night. The, get the Sony. I have the Sony ones. Yeah. They're cool. So I good. just feel like I want something intuitive to the Apple. They connect right to your phone. It's easier. Yeah. I, I mean, that's, no. I want some the, Android shit. The Sony ones, the Sony ones you Android. literally just hit a button and it automatically connects. That's cool. It's yeah, like, it's exactly I feel like, like having the, like that Apple is like ones. people Wait, that write we, with pencils. Like who, the, <laughs> who we can get sponsored by easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. What is the one that everybody's sponsored by? Um, Raycon. Raycon. Raycon yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's We're like, do you have a podcast? Okay. Like, yeah, Raycon sponsor us. You can have that in the Me Undies. Yeah, yeah. that Me Undies and Manscaped. Yeah, like $5 yeah. shave clothes. We need to buy some episodes. I need some Me Undies. Yeah, I'm running out. I need a Meridian. No, I need the. What's the. <laughs> what's the um, underwear that people always advertise on podcasts that have like the dick flap? Are you like, uh, you're, it has its own pocket for your dick and balls? Let me just, uh, let me just tuck it in real quick. Cock sock? I don't know. <laughs> no, but that's your million dollar idea. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the poop. We already know. It's the, um, the poop sock. The b- no, <laughs> no, it's the bidet that has knives uh, attached to it. it yeah. So it's the turd cutter. It cuts your turds up yeah. before they, so you never clog your toilet. And one day you just have like really droopy balls. <laughs> it's just mm-hmm. like... <laughs> No, there's a safeguard. If it detects moisture other than water, it matter. Yeah, it stops. Yeah. What if you're doing like a wet poop? Um, yeah, you're just full diary. It goes yeah. full. Well, yeah, it, I guess it, it doesn't go, need it. It goes full fruit ninja mode. And just like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, fruit yeah. ninja, what a game. dude, fruit ninja, what a game. I there's still who still plays fruit ninja? Like, um, like I feel like people that love Disney World that, uh, also are, love fruit yeah, ninja. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. one way to put it. <laughs> Dude, I downloaded a game yeah, off of TikTok. Junk. I downloaded a game with them off of TikTok the other day, and I'm playing. What that. is it? Oh my god! It's probably oh the one god. where like the stick figure runs. Or no, I've been playing uh, a little bit of Survivor IO. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Honestly, it's not bad. This guy plays Raid Shadow Legends. So. Yeah. I don't. I stopped playing Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> like, dude, I don't I play playing it games. after three hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I spent five thousand dollars out of my savings. I do, account. I do straight up play Genshin, uh, not Genshin, um, Gotcha. Oh, well, yeah. I do, but I play Gotcha games randomly now, just for fun to see like how ingrained I can get into it. This dude's Fair. like, yeah, I've been playing Honkai Star Rail for the last. Uh, <laughs> like your foot's on the inside. Oh shit! Goof. Hopefully, it catches me on fire. <laughs> Anyways, Mike's trying to catch on fire. I'll catch I always on knew fire, Mike but... was a flamer. Uh, <laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was gonna hit a random. It's one. about drive. It's a- that makes sense. What was I gonna say? There was something I was gonna. Oh, but yeah, to put a bow in the massage thing, it was good. I would That's recommend not- it. Get, yeah, get one. I was sore as fuck the next day. Yeah, but it was great. 
Oh yeah. Um, today I did um a few throwback albums, and I know we're gonna talk about some of this stuff soon. But I listened to the one. Uh, I, I thought you said I listened to a Roblox album. No, I, I listened like, to what? I listened to Birth Eater today for Classic. the first time in forever, Great and it made one. me feel. Emo- I was on a blunt ride listening to Birth Eater and just having the best time of my life. Like, and then, like, the, the abortion plan ones. comes on, and you're like, I don't want to be alive anymore. <laughs> no, yeah. There's a lot of that going on. I don't want to be alive. And then uh, Thou Free Will, I was listening to a lot. That album's Great perfect. Album. Yeah. It might be my favorite, one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, uh, Sound and Fury happened. Sound and Fury did happen. Cool. I had a friend that was there, and they were giving me commentary of the thing the whole time, and I got some of the inside scoops. Yeah. Any, anything fun to report? Um, yeah, well, there's a couple things. Um, there was some furries there. They didn't mosh. In the fursuit? Yeah. Nice. That's hard. Um. They were probably sweating up a storm. The, uh, the ceremony set was insane. Yeah. Um, as it is, they come every, like, three years, don't they, or something? They play, that like, was a complete secret. Was, yeah. Like, no, because my friend knew before they were coming on, like, early in the day that that was, like, a yeah, thing. Yeah, because I think... Some people people were, were saying it, mm-hmm. but it, even the people that n- like heard that they were playing, like yeah, people who, that were also sure. playing, yeah. didn't know for sure if that it was really going to happen. Yeah. yeah, but they they did do a set in like 2018 or something, it was uh, something like that. Sure. Right. No, Sound and Fury hasn't happened since. Really? What happened last year? Yeah, but they then before, before that, that it was yeah. a while. Before that, it, it pre-pandemic. Yeah. 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 God yeah. damn. Well, 2018 would have been pre-pandemic, right? I don't know. I don't know years anymore. Fucking. But um. Uh, I thought you yeah. were going to say ceremony hasn't played a set since 2018. No, like, no, no. No, we, yeah. but, um, we saw them recently. Yeah. But, uh, they just played like Violence, Violence, right? Or like, uh, uh, I think it was the EP before Violence. Yeah, I think it was like insane. Ruined or whatever. I, mm. I might be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really haven't dug. I mean, I've dug through <laughs> Ceremony's entire catalog, but I don't know. No, I mean, do I just haven't watched it. I didn't see the video. I know oh, they played yeah. like Cursed. And so yeah, they, like, yeah. yeah, they opened up. And yeah, they opened up. Yeah, it's insane. As well. Um, Apparently, Speed had, like, the craziest... They always have the craziest, like, weird moshing slash energy, frenetic energy sets. Um, TUI set was hard. TUI set was cool. God apparently, dude, apparently, that was the lineup. Yeah, that was that, one. Yeah, with the, the yeah. TUI lineup. Yeah, it was the line, Yeah, it's yeah, cool it was see. cool to see the original, like, cool lineup going on. Um... God's Hate was cool. God's Hate was incredible. Um, I saw the dude from God's Hate was wearing like a spiked gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> the barrier thing was hilarious. I love the discourse yeah. over that. Dude, As big if boy. people didn't really know why there was a barrier there. Like, yeah, dude, I, I've I heard like on a fire uh, code thing. On Hard War or whatever, there. they said it was like added right before the show started. Yeah, there was like a fire, uh, uh, fire marshal. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, uh, Dude, the big boy video, there. though, of yeah. big boy hitting the first note and just people immediately tear Playing it down. down. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a classic vid. I mean, it kind of came, it, came, it became like a meme towards the, so the second day there wasn't a barrier or anything. So. The fuck? It was like an M dot car or something? Hmm, probably somebody working or something. I don't know. They're like, hey, uh, we've heard you guys say gay too many times. Uh, <laughs> um, here from Baltimore City to shut it down. Uh, yeah. Twitching Tongues. Yeah. Twitching Fantastic. Tongues set was awesome. Yeah. Incredible. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. Twitching Tongues is one of those bands that, like, when you when you listen back to their discography, it's, like, just too ahead of its time. Yeah, people weren't ready for it. Even even I remember hearing, like, I liked Insane and Inhumane, but I remember, like, when I heard Preacher Man, I was just like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah, like, I remember. I, I mean, I was right there. I, I didn't really get it. What but, like, is, but, is like, I suggest, I always thought it was a hard-ass song. Yeah. I always wanted more, their songs to be more like that. World War Five was always World War Five was good. Um... Is it like more like a what are they just like a rock band I guess really? It's like typo negative hardcore, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. and if you listen to like older New York shit, it's like or like Troy core, it's like you have like you have like a life of agony or sure. like yeah. um, section eight and um, I'm trying to think. Vision of Disorder to an extent. Vision of Disorder like, is like a weird, like, metalcore yeah. type thing. I don't know. Yeah, I remember I remember hearing Twitching Tongues and being like, yeah, I don't get it. But yeah. now, like, now that I'm older, for whatever reason, same songs. Yeah. It just, like, makes more it makes more sense, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Dude. I think when I heard that, hardcore was still at a point when I heard that where it was like, every band just was hard and just wanted to sound like TUI. And, like, yeah. it was more just like that early 2000, 2010s hardcore, and it was just like... I think, and there hadn't been enough, like, new shit. Yeah. 
whose bands are fucking expired. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> I can't break. I was saying like that. I saw a video or a picture from Sound of Fury. Oh, there's so many people outside. Right now. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It's a That's Saturday right. night. It's an interesting move. Hey, man. Hey. This makes you it You guys cooler. want a pod? Uh, it's uh, a picture of a dude at Sound of Fury wearing an Expire t-shirt, and someone took a picture of him and just tweeted. He was wearing like, Expire shirt no? and hat. Yeah. yeah I saw uh, a lot Literally of fucking both. Yeah. It's insane. I don't understand what this dude's doing in my backyard right now. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's fine. This is, that's live commentated. All right. Yeah, it's so, live uh, commentated. There's some kind of Baltimore City vehicle out here, but I think they're picking people up. There's I think there's like a party. No, there definitely is. They got a whole car for her. Get them back to the truck. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, they got the whole car. They got the whole car. Yeah, that's like an M dot car. It's so weird. That's pretty cool. It's mobility link. Like is that what, what, what did they do? What did they do? The function. What? What do they do? Do they just transport people? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's if you're like an old person, Uber. you can, like, request, because there's people at my at my job that do this. Um, okay. You can, like, request Baltimore City Mobility to come pick you up. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even know that. That's yeah. a cool service. I didn't even know that was the thing. It's like old people Uber. Oh, okay. That's cool. I Good think. for them. But, but back, to, back yeah. to the Sound of Fury. Ooh. The Twitching Tongue set, man <sighs> comes out and... Full gimmick. The coolest gimmick looking I've like ever a member seen. of the House of Black. Yeah, has the spiked vest. The spiked straight edge. Yeah, the gloves. X'd up spike gloves. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was great. Open with the eyes adjust. Oh, that was bad, dude. And he sounded Russell's incredible. Yeah. I want that. I honestly want them to re-record all of the old shit how he sounds now because it's like kind of gravelly. Yeah, and it sounds way cooler. Yeah, I liked how when they before they played Insane and Inhumane, he was like, I wrote this song when I was 18. And I was like, oh, that like puts it into perspective. Yeah. Like, you know. Dude, the entire time you can tell he's like half laughing, half crying. Crying, yeah. As yeah, said. there was a part where it looks like, I think he was starting to get choked up and like uh, Brody King that like, came out and did vocals for it. Like, yeah. Or whatever. It was cool. Seems like it was super important to them, so that's awesome. Yeah. Always cool to see. Wish I could have been there. I think I might try and go to the show in October. In Brooklyn mm. to see him. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I hope that at this point they see the is that reaction. Uh, no, no, it's at the uh, the big the new big place that all the um, yeah. hardcore shows are at. It's yeah. um, I haven't been there yet. I can't remember what it's called. It's cool to see. I think it's I think the one cool thing about seeing kind of this boom right now in like hardcore bands is seeing bands that I feel like never got their flowers. Like maybe now because there is a market for it. Like getting back to like Twitching Tongues, obviously they were in like other bands. Dude, Soul Search. Soul Search is another one. Yeah. Minority Unit. Like seeing them go back together. I feel was like awesome. Integrity did and didn't. Like in a weird way. Yeah, Integrity. I feel like is so on like the line of like metal. Because Integrity meaning. was like they never, they never left. No. Yeah. They, they, they just never were like, always playing like weird ass. Like they'll just get like like this year they're on This Is Hardcore. Yeah. yeah, like it's just like, they right? Never but then they really, could play like a metal fest yeah. with like crowbar. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. They're a weird band. I would love to see, uh, uh like today's crowd see like Ringworm. Yeah, Ringworm's and so cool. Watch kids That's lose like, their fucking mind. Ringworm's but, like a band's band though. They're not yeah. like a band that people like, <laughs> which sucks, but it's true. Very true. Yeah, I'd love to see um, like Minority Unit was cool. The only thing I didn't like I about didn't the minority set. unit set that I saw was like there was just a full crowd of people on, on the stage. The thing, that yeah, thing. Yeah. And I was like, what do you what is Yeah, this? the angle that I saw that somebody was before, like I don't know if there's been like an official video uploaded, but I was like, I can't tell what's going on. But it's yeah. cool. Also, don't they have like three vocalists or two vocalists? They had like ten. <laughs> yeah. But apparently a bunch of them broke edge, so I think it was like four people doing vocals. Fuck yeah. Uh like you have to take a piss test before you do it. <laughs> so funny, <laughs> dude. Ed- edge bands being really strict about that is really—it's funny. I, I guess, it, but I guess it's like weird to be like doing vocals about something that doesn't apply to you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's also like—is it? I don't know. I guess it would make a difference also if it was like Edge as opposed to like Sober Edge, meaning like they were weren't sober and then are sober now, and sure, like not yeah. having that around yeah. is like a whole separate thing. I can see that. Like. That makes more sense to me, I guess, in some extent. And I think that's more common now more than ever. Yeah. It's yeah. like people getting sober and just and claiming, claiming edge. Yeah. yeah. But 
Uh, yeah, I feel like back in the day, it was like, you're not true. Yeah. You're just sober. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what the fuck does it matter? I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Um, edge in. <laughs> I don't know. Seeing bands like Minority in it and stuff like that, like... Dude, when it arm- kind of it kind of brings me back to like that era of like that Dude, shit was so fucking cool. When armed, with, when armed with the mind by half heart comes on, I'm straight in. <laughs> <laughs> I, was never, I was never a half heart person ever in my entire life. I don't know why. That Boston like hardcore missed me. Really See, that's hard. the thing is, I I'm not like a Boston heart. I couldn't give a shit about Bane. I couldn't care mm-hmm. about like a lot of those bands. Mm-hmm. The only ones I care about are like Converge. Converge, um, that's about it for me. Cave in. Yeah, but that's a subsidiary. Have heart. Um, have heart. And then kind of like that. I like like that Converge group, like yeah. Toyed Man, Old Man Gloom. Yeah, that, you whole, know, like, that whole. I feel like they, they're they more, I mean, now, especially that they're older, it's like just straight up metal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Um, oh, speaking of which, did you guys see the uh, rig rundown for Converge? Did. Yeah. And and Nate just is just like I don't know. This, I just like play this. Yeah, bass. they were like, so like <laughs> it's like the bald guy that always like nerds out. I like him better than like the oh, what's up guys. Yeah. That guy, fuck that guy. Um, the dude with the faux hawk. The dude with the faux hawk. Yeah. Um, Talking about the dude. From he was K-Man. like, why do you like like why did you get these lace pickups? Like, what did you tell him? And he was like, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, it's I don't know. They just handed like, this to me. He was just like, yeah, I play Orange Amps. Like. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I have this one pedal. Yeah, I have one pedal. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I just like P bases. Like, <laughs> that's, Dude, that's probably how I would have been if I ever did one. It's like, I don't know, it yeah. sounds cool. It kind of uh, threw me for a loop that Kurt was like, yeah, so I have like these two amps and they're in stereo, and then I also have the Line Six, six Helix, yeah. and it changes all of my stuff for me, and all, and I was yeah. just like, but he did say it makes sense. Like a lot of the stuff they'd play is just like fly in or festival and stuff like that. Yeah. so he knows he what he's gonna get. Preset or whatever. Yo, those Quilter amps, kind of go fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh, How much are they? Normal? Are they like power amps? Bucks. They're literally bucks. just little. Oh, they're the lunch boxes. With knobs. Yeah, yeah. With knobs uh, on them, yeah. and you just change them. Yeah. Yeah. But like, uh, snag one from a studio. Uh, Sound Shut and up. Fury Cruelty from Japan, they have them, and they're just using the little, little quilter yeah. amps. And then, um, that's a sick ass man, too. Dude, Cruelty. Yeah, they're playing around here. They're playing around here soon, I know. I got 15th. Go. Yep. I think it's the 15th. I think it's, yeah. yeah. It's a Thursday. Right. Isn't I'm going to go. Morbid I'm Deity, right? Yeah, Morbid Deity, Gradual Slip. Where is that at? Uh, Immersed Pearls? in Pain. Metro Gallery? Metro, Metro? Gallery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, dude, I'm going to be going Japanese Mosh Style Volume 2. <laughs> yeah. Mike's literally going to be a Kung Fu movie. <laughs> it's the greatest video I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, What was I going to say? Yeah, the Sound of Fury stuff's cool. I'm not really, like, super into hardcore music, but I was just, like, seeing that. It seems like it's a Good time. Um, dude, the band that I need on this is Hardcore 24. Dude, kill like, Switch Engage. Yeah, well, Kill Switch Engage. Yeah. <laughs> they already played. I know. I yeah. Or, uh, they played Sound and Fury? No, they played uh, This uh, is Hardcore. This hardcore. They did. Uh, yeah. I mentioned yeah. Sound and Fury if I was saying This Hardcore by accident. Um, I need, I need, I need you all to get my band Trash Talk on there and get them some yeah, Dude, did you see the band. show that got announced the day see, after yeah. Sound of Fury? It's like Big Boy Trash, trash talk, talk, Big Boy Terrena, and like a couple of rappers. Yeah. And I was like, I always say, I always loved, I don't know why, I always just loved, I remember hearing like Walking Disease, like that EP or 7 Inch or whatever. FC, whatever. What's the letters? The do 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 Oh, yeah. Fire Act or whatever. Yeah. That into walking disease, like that yeah. whole seven inch is just great, and then obviously, like eyes and nines, and the trash talk self titled with like, um, that's like a power violence record almost, yeah. Like, um, eyes and nines is great, and then like that, like awake, and then like Ronert Park came out around, around the same time, and stuff yeah. like that. That kind of like skate punk era of like California hardcore bands and stuff like that. That's like my. My bread and butter. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see them play. I saw that they played a fest um, with God's Hate like a year ago. Or they're either they either they did or they're about to. And then they're they're like the headliners. And it's I like, wouldn't doubt it. That it's somewhere sick. in like Oklahoma or something weird like that. Like it's I so think weird. they played. Um, what's the fest in like Detroit? 
that just happened. Oh, tied down. I think they played last year. Oh, uh, okay. From what I understand, I saw like a set. Dude, all I'm saying is, with all this like new buzz around, like you know, like hard lore and God's hate and twitching tongues and all those bands, like yeah. disturbing the peace this year, better. Better be fucking sick. That's all I'm saying. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. You guys went last year, right? Yeah. Or this year. I, I think, think it's going to be Disturbing the piss. Yeah. I mean, I think it's going to be fucking awesome. But, like... Oh, yeah. That is coming up, weirdly. Because it was, like, January, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's really funny. It's crazy how quickly... I didn't go because I was watching the Royal Rumble. <laughs> That's true. Priority. Literally, why? I was that going... Show, that show was fun. I'm pretty to miss you. Look me in the eye. It was cool to see um, Never Any Game for the first time and actually, like, being into that band now. I was like, damn, that was sick. Dude, they were so fucking good. They were so good. It was, like, ridiculous. I was like, oh, I don't get this band. And then I saw them live, and I was like, oh, I get this band purple. Yeah. I was like, I get it. And then their new Max, album like, came out, and I was like, ooh, I love this band. grew a goatee immediately. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you put on, like, a hard hat and a high-vis vest and <laughs> grew a goatee. Dude, I do, I do love the memes of, like, people in Japan when Never Ending Game shows up, and they all, it was Japanese dudes with goatee. Looking so like uh, Masahiro Chono. Literally, yeah. So fucking funny. That's uh, so good. Yeah, I didn't really get them either, but then I, I saw a video of them, and I was like, it's not my bag, but I get it. Dude, it's like uh, it's like how people don't understand Carcass, and then you see the like one video, and you're like, oh yeah, I get this. It's like yeah. shreddy and like long hair and yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah. I like Never Carcass. Ending Game too, cause like they're not afraid to put the just OS metalcore shit. It's yeah, it's gro- it's like groovy. It's like yeah. fun. There's like singing. Yeah. It's interesting. It's and they'll put fun. the like the dun, 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 like yeah. those kind of riffs in there. They'll throw as <laughs> early dying riffs. They in will. There. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, some of it's got that like early two thousands core thing. Going yeah, on. it's pretty cool. It's fun. Their new album is Give It a Spin. It's so good. It has the craziest speed. bass drop I've ever heard in my entire life. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Take on the E or whatever the fuck. No, it's uh, Hate Today, Die Tomorrow. Hate Today, Die Tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't realize the um, the dude that's in Twitching Tongues, that's like the older guy, was the guy from Hatebreed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's really like, he's either. from like, he's the guitar player of like, Every Prime Hatebreed. Hate, yeah. Prime Hatebreed. Yeah. I didn't know that. I saw an interview with him and I was like, oh, I didn't yeah. know. What is Prime, Prime Hatebreed? Is that like early 2000s, I guess? It's uh, Satisfaction to Rise of Brutality. So like the first four albums. Or Rise of Brutality. Yeah. Or yeah, because technically the EP, but I don't think he was in the band during that. And I, I don't know if he was in the band during Satisfaction. I saw but that I know it was like from 1999 least... to 2009 he was in the band, I think it said. Okay, yeah, so yeah, the, the good shit. Yeah. yeah. And he's also in the Umbra Vate band. That's oh, like, okay. yeah. yeah. The with... Uh, uh, Jake. Jake Abana, yeah. yeah. Um, Damn. Yeah, I'm, I was like, that's super random. Dude, that show that's coming up at Soundstage is going to be fucking Which insane. Hey Breed, uh, supposedly yeah. playing yeah. all of Rise of Brutality, yeah. Vain, Jesus Peace. Damn. Um, I think one other band. I can't remember. They're like, you're getting your ass kicked. <laughs> Whether you I, like it or not. I love Jesus Peace. I've seen them like twice twice or three times every time i see them they're great but like i don't know something about them it's just like what i like expect from that band like they're just like great but then i watch them live and i'm like this is exactly what i thought this band would be like and there's some like like yearning for more about them i don't know what it is they're I such just, a good band like i don't know what it is i wasn't a huge the people fuck the first with that new the album first, the first EP was the the thing. Yeah. Like the first EP was oh, the full length. Too. The full length, the full length yeah. was cool. Yeah. The newest album is like the singles fun. I heard. The second single I thought was really cool. I think it yeah. was that one. So there's tracks on the new record. Yeah. I think it's just like one of those scenarios of like you're like waiting to get out of a bad deal. You have this album that's basically been done for like a while. Three and a half years. Yeah. And then you put it out and it's like yeah. And it's got to be super frustrating for them to be like the band yeah. and like quickly. Like I remember I remember the first time I ever heard of them was like I think I don't know if it was like one of their first shows but like this is hardcore happened. I think they played like a pre or a post they, fest or something like that. They, yeah. Dude, they played a fucking um garage and the way I heard of them was they played that garage in fucking Delaware. Really? Like for like Yeah, the, no, they forever, played that and then they yeah. played like another show that has a there's a video of it. Yeah. And it's in like a small like 
almost like VFW type place, but it has mm-hmm. a stage. I don't know exactly what it is. And then like literally, boom. Yeah. Like middle of the road. This is hardcore. Straight up. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So weird. Yeah, I remember it was like very quick. And stuff like that. I mean, because they were awesome. So, <laughs> first but I'm saying that's going to be super frustrating for them to be like, be the band, and then like, yeah, be fucked, and then COVID, and then now there's like this boom, and it's like ah, like it was just weird timing, you know. I mean, I definitely do not think, in terms of like numbers and like what they're doing, I don't think they're struggling. Like no, no, the new no, album no. came out like, the, uh, the day before the Super Heaven show. Mm-hmm. Was their record release at Union Transfer and yeah. it completely sold out yeah. within like a couple minutes? I Which think. is a, this is a big venue, so that's that's good. Did we talk about uh, on the pod last time Code Orange? I think did we, we did. talk about. It? We yeah. Did. Yeah. Oh wait, actually, I don't know. I don't know if we did. did. I don't yeah, know. cycle. The first EP is cool. The first album is cool. Everything else can suck. I think the ass. demo, the full house split cycles. The first full length for most part is pretty cool. I am King. Look, listening back, there's some tracks. Slow Burn is a good song. I am King. Listening back is a good record. Yeah, good record. And then I didn't. I kind of. I don't fuck with Forever. Know. Um, I like like the song Forever. That's a cool song. But that's about that's about it for me, just personally. But um, dude, that. I will say that this, song is pretty good. The what's it called? Spread. Uh, uh, take take, take shape. shape. Yeah. It's corn. Listen, it's basically corn. It's corn like corn light. and like Nine Inch Nails light and like Pyro Man to 5000. No, the Out for Blood song, I will say this not to be mean, is terrible and a power of Pyro Man 5000. Song. Yeah, and I, I don't think they should ever be able to live that one down. Yeah, that's like we tried to become a WWE. It's fine. Like, I get that. Like, I think if I was that band, is cool. If I think I, I think if I was that band, I would do the exact same thing. I think it's just like. Oh, 100%. I think they're like uh, geniuses. They're like, we fun. could keep playing with hardcore bands or we could play with like Slipknot. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like we can keep oh, yeah. a dirty hardcore band, or we could play with Slipknot, and they and like I might band, ne- so. not necessarily get it, but like it seems like uh, they put a lot of thought into like everything they do, like the story and the yeah. art and the rollout. Which yeah, they like, do what they're supposed to. That's do. awesome. That's, that's cool. I will say the Take Shape song I thought was pretty cool. The Billy Corgan part is probably the worst part of the song, if I'm being honest. Yes, <laughs> totally also, derails the song. <laughs> I will say, no matter how you feel about that band. That video is one of the coolest, one of the coolest fucking music, music videos. videos I've seen in a long time. Yeah, great yeah. music video. Them on the roof playing and like it looks like vanilla sky. Yeah, <laughs> dude, the the like walking through the sets. And yeah. He like walks into the car and then yeah. like gets out. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah. Except uh, when my ticket home did the album better like ten years dude, earlier. Okay, let's talk about the song Hot Soap. <laughs> my ticket home. <laughs> it's so funny. That shit goes hard. There's a uh, audio tree of them playing that song, and both guitarists are rocking backwards hats and goatees, and the one dude's just wearing a clutch tee. So <laughs> and I'm like, this is what I want out this, of this band. Yeah, this is what it I, should uh, be. They're way out I of the I love the conspiracy theory that when they recorded their first record, it was with Caleb Shomo, and it was right at the time that the next Attack Attack, like the first Caleb Shomo Attack Attack record came out, and he purposely got that album delayed so the attack attack album came out and then when that album came out it was Sounded literally like they... one for one the exact same record so insane it's so crazy <laughs> when you watch old videos of them and they're literally like a crab corp <laughs> <laughs> like my ticket but home was straight al- up like yeah, I know. full yeah. but then that album with like hot soap or ep or whatever it is is like I mean, it basically is like early two thousands, like clutch and like stained it's and so like funny. It's I'm so a sucker <laughs> for that song. That, it was so that ahead album of its time. is ahead of its time. Super yeah. ahead of its time. I don't know if those dudes are shitty, but like that album's cool. So good I remember they that. like would call their. They weren't like we're not a metal corny band anymore. They were like we're like uh, acid. Pu- or like puke rock or yeah puke like, rock yeah. Yeah. and stupid. I was like that's yeah, terrible that, but kind of works that, for you guys at the same time <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a case of a band just trying something that they think is funny but it's not yeah like, it's like inside jokes are funny but like when you start bringing them on Twitter into public it's like that shit fucking sucks I mean Dude, I uh, really mean think X? yeah <laughs> sorry I really think with bands like Fleshwater and stuff like that becoming like huge mm. Uh, my ticket home was like way ahead. Of my the ticket time. home walked so flush water could run. <coughs> yeah, even like Vein to a certain extent because yeah. they were like kind of new metal. They had the DJ. And yeah, shit. Vein I think was a little, 
People fucked with it, but then I think once they got the DJ, people weren't ready for that. I miss Vane when they. But they're like, yo, I love Eyeless by Slipknot. Dude, the fact that Vane played here and I saw them and it was great had no sound clips, samples, anything because yeah. it wasn't working. But also, they played a couple months before at FYA, had the DJ. Hmm. When I saw them at Autobar, no DJ uh-huh. and the samples didn't work. Huh. And I was like, it kind of doesn't hit the same. Sure. Sure. <laughs> like, I want to hear like the baby crying and then like the turntable scratching <laughs> yeah. and shit like that. <laughs> I want to enter the Matrix. <laughs> the uh, meme that I sent that uh, it was like the dude from Code Orange looks like the guy from Grandma's Boy. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> uh, I saw that on Reddit. I can't even take credit for that. Sure, showed you. I wish I could. I love the picture of them, and they look like they're from like Batman Forever. <laughs> <laughs> like they're villains from Batman Forever. Super underrated movie. Yeah, I love those kind of cartoonies. Batman and Robin's terrible, but yeah, but the rest of them were great. I watched uh, the original one with Michael Keaton. It's weird. No, oh, Michael Keaton. Um, what's his name? No, Val Kilmer. No, Michael Keaton. No, Michael no Val Keaton. Kilmer's first. No, Val Kilmer's not the first one. Isn't that the first no, one? I he's thought like, he's Michael like Keaton was Michael Keaton Tim Burton in his second. Tim Burton. No, Michael Keaton was the first one. It was uh, Michael no, Keaton Mac, and I think Jack. Jackson's right. It's Michael Keaton and Jack, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, yeah. One. First two. Three. No, no. I, no. Yes. Uh, George Clooney's like 1998. Oh, but before, before Michael Keaton was Val Kilmer, right? Yeah, but I thought that Jack no. Nicholson was the Jack Nicholson Joker is Val Kilmer. No, it's no, it's Michael. No, Keaton. it's Michael Keaton. Yeah, it goes Michael Keaton. Wait, hold on. First Batman, Michael Keaton. Right, gotta, second Batman Forever, Michael Keaton. All right, this third, is the first on the pod. I I'm never, fact checking. I on never. The pod. No, no, no. I never really one, fucked with Michael Keaton as Batman. Like he one, did a great job, but I was just like Michael Keaton. George Clooney is the one with Mister Freeze. Yeah, and, Val Kilmer. And and Val Kilmer is the one in Batman and Rot. No, no, no. George yeah. Clooney's Batman and Robin. Val Kilmer's the other one, whatever the fuck that one is. Yeah, I don't know. I just know there's a the scene one with where Poison uh, Ivy. Po- well, I was about to say the like, Poison Ivy's lair, and he gets like wrapped up in these yeah. like th- things, and I was like, I want this to happen to me right now. Yeah, it is. Damn. Yeah, I don't know which one's the Val Kilmer one. I don't remember that one at oh. all. Val Kilmer. I know Val Kilmer was it. He was the nipples Batman, but I don't remember what movie it was. <laughs> Nipple. He's the nipples Batman. That's true. Uh, oh, real- it's Batman Forever. Okay, so yeah. that is the second one. Yeah. Um, or the third one. I guess. What was I going to say? We joked about it on the last podcast about editing some of our clips with like Family Guy or Subway Surfer clips, but yeah. we actually did. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So all the neurodivergent people can watch it, hopefully, including myself. Yeah, that's facts. We need to like triple stack it. It needs to be like us, Family Guy, Subway Surfers, and just yeah. all the audio for all three is playing. Yeah, at the same time. We can do that. We should. Hundred percent. Oh, so should we bring this up as as kind of a closer? What? Uh, what? The uh, new idea we have. Oh yeah. So yeah, we we'll, we can let's uh as we wrap up here, run through some of the stuff that you can expect coming yeah. down the pipeline. We worked today on getting some stuff. So first off, um, we're still gonna keep doing this every other Friday, new episodes. I think we're gonna keep doing it from outside, despite. <laughs> I don't know. I had character to it today, yeah, I guess. Fun. It's, it's fun. fun. It's I like fun. doing the outside. It's a little different. Yeah. Inside gets a little stuffy sometimes, I feel like. A little secular. Mm, but I can also yell whatever I want. You can yell whatever you want out here. I don't know. What have you, <laughs> n- what have you not said that you could have said that you didn't want to say? Hmm, that's a good point, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Mike. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You're a good point. Say it. No. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, we're gonna keep doing the pot out here. I think we have some. We have some like fun themed episodes that are coming down the pipeline. We were gonna do the tattoo one. We're gonna push that back a little bit. Maybe one day, Max, worst comes worst, Max will just tattoo us or something like that. I can, yeah, I don't care. Um, so that'll that'll be coming down the line. I think hopefully we got to consult with uh, the person that uh, we're gonna be doing this with. I think hopefully the next episode. I don't know how what we've dubbed it. Something along the lines of the history of metalcore. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, MySpace music. MySpace yeah, music. Yeah, MySpace music, yeah. Uh, with a Big Dev, the historian. Yeah. Um, you guys know the scene of School Rock where he's got like all the genres on the chalkboard? Yeah. It's going to be kind of like that, but with b- bands that were on MySpace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
It's going to be like abandon all ships, Guido Core. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be all over the map. Yeah, Maybe we'll Tyga will be in there. We'll Metalcore bands, bands that wore uh, a tie and a dress shirt. Yeah, Ice uh, Nine Kills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, there's like horror core. So it's like motionless yeah, well. white Ice Nine Kills. But then Ice Nine Kills is also connected to dudes that wear suits when they play live. Yeah. It's also a branch off from Ali Song. <laughs> Yeah, which is, which is also, also a branch Durstack. off of uh, Attack Attack and yeah. Upon a Burning Body. Uh, yeah, or Upon a Burning Body. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Right, and that's like Guido, Familia Core. Familia right? Core. And then from Suits, also way over here, we got My Chemical Romance. Yeah. You can, uh, Excuse me, sir. It's called Mexicore. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of what they called it, right? Yeah, straight yeah. up is what they called themselves. Yeah, Mexicore. Never forget. That was pretty fun. Um, yeah, so that'll be coming. Hopefully, I think that we're going to maybe try and make that our next one. Take one, some. last breath. Sorry, band in all ships. It's a great, great band. I listened to um, Icy Stars the other day. Yeah. It's like Icy rocks. Stars. Do, 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 ba, do, I Set My Friends do, do, on Fire. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Um, the Common Hour is a great song. Hour last, hour last night. Yeah, Disney Core. Disney Core. <laughs> Dude, did you see them uh, like shitting on Spirit Box? Yeah, uh, dude, that yeah. their first album's great. And then I'll they posted the hill. video. <laughs> they posted the last song. Yeah, our last night first album. Yeah, first they song. posted the They're video like, like uh, right after that. That was like, this is what a full stadium sounds like singing <laughs> our cover of Iris. And yeah. everybody was like, no, you're just singing Iris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like there's, you haven't added anything to them. No, not at all. Yeah, I don't. It's crazy that they are just like, yo, yeah. we're gonna play the Mulan cover. <laughs> Also, like, wasn't it, like, Spirit Box dropped because of, like, all the Ronnie Radke just saying terrible shit? Yeah. 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 Dude, Spirit Box plays with, like, straight-up arena metal bands. They don't fucking need to play with Falling in Reverse. Nah. Uh, it's also, I don't know, that whole thing's really funny. I get a bag, fuck it, like, go for it. Your band sucked and nobody liked you, so now you're just, like, selling out hard. Fuck yeah, it. fuck it. Yeah. Dude, they, just Attila's the kings. I know? would love to be the drummer <laughs> in that band because nobody would ever know your name or ever know what you look like ever and you'd probably just collect bags. Oh, 100%. That's what, Falling in a Burn? Just any of those bands. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck. Just be like a nameless person. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, so next episode, hopefully History of Metalcore. Yeah. We're going to hopefully have some guests on again. We, we enjoyed that. Dev will kind of be a guest in a non-traditional sense. Yeah. Um, Hopefully coming soon, maybe in the fall, end of summer, we're going to be doing some ghost hunting videos. We yes. don't have a, have a name for it yet. Um, but yeah, just the boys yeah. out ghost hunting. We are, have a... a Make spooky dookie. Yeah, spooky dookie with the boys. Slap my nuts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> slap my nuts. <laughs> slap nuts. Oh, wow. Spooky, so spooky slap nuts. The spooky slap nuts. Um, we have a little regional thing uh, to where we grew up that we're going to hit first. Um yeah. We'll, we'll see. If it's a haunted it Ronald McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, it's a haunted McDonald's in Bell Camp where, <laughs> where our dreams go to die. Where some dude quit his job in front of us. And took our food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never forget. Uh, so much. That'll have to be a segment. Everything that's happened there, we'll catalog it. Yeah, yeah. We should talk to Dev about that. That should be our last. That should be the late night segment. Late night like, segment. We'll call it the late night segment. And it's literally the last like 10 minutes of it. We talk about late night McDonald's. Dude. News. Bell Cam McDonald's. Bell Cam McDonald's, legendary. Roll, Shout out um, to my man Kenny. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, so we had that some ghost hunting videos. I have a little like solo thing that's going to be coming on the channel. I don't really have a timeline, um, but probably sooner. That'll probably be the next new thing that gets launched before any of this. And then I think maybe at the end of this month, start or starting next month, we might do some uh, hundred mile live streams or whatever. Never, you know, whatever it is. It's not exactly whatever. Never mind, but. Probably the three of us doing some uh, live streams, yeah. probably on uh, YouTube Live. Maybe we'll do it on Twitch as well. Maybe we'll do it on Kick. Maybe we'll do it on Rumble. Grinder. Maybe we'll do, Maybe it, on we'll TikTok. do it on fucking OnlyFans Live. You know. Maybe we'll right? do it on OnlyFans. Maybe we'll do it on X Live. Maybe we'll do it on <laughs> X Videos. Chatterbait. <laughs> Chatterbait. More than likely to be here on YouTube. Um, probably just be like uh, us in front of the computer, watch some funny videos. We'll promote maybe, it. We'll, maybe give away some stuff. Yeah, know? maybe we'll give away some merch, some hundred miles merch, maybe some stuff from some bands that we can uh, ask. Cool. Get in on it. Um, yeah, and we'll promote it. You'll know like a few weeks before we do it. We'll make some graphics and some uh, videos and stuff like that, and uh, probably on like Saturday, I'd imagine, yeah. or something like that. So just keep your eye out for that. Um, we'll do. Yes, and also if you guys can, if you can subscribe, if you're watching on YouTube. 
rate five stars if you're on Spotify. We've been getting a lot of subscribers it's recently. Up, sorry. We had we like hit a hundred and then now we're already up at 114. So keep uh, smashing that like button and hitting subscribe. <laughs> we're YouTubers, so that's what we have to say now. You know. I don't. Know. Okay. If you label me, you negate me. Yeah, I think I think, <laughs> I think we drained Max. I well, am so tired. <laughs> not in the way, not the way that I want to drain. Yeah, him, fair. Yeah, yeah. All right, you want to hit some clips on the way out? Yeah, let me get a. Bruh. I'm K. All right, peace. Peace.